Hey guys, welcome back to Fashion with Angie. My name's Angie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my entire shoe collection. So let's get right into the video. Okay, the first pair I've got are my cow boots. I literally love these so much. I'm pretty sure they're from... Oh gosh, I can't remember her name. When I remember it, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the video. I, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Oh, she makes the cutest shoes. I probably have another pair actually of hers in here and I can't remember her name right now, but I'll put it in there. But I literally love these cow boots. I remember when I wore these with the plaid skirt and the internet, one of my videos of me in the outfit like went viral. I think it was on Instagram and everybody was like, she matched cow print and plaid. Um, I personally, I just love cow print. I have a lot of cow print stuff and I think it just goes with everything, honestly. Like, it's just black and white together. Um, like in a spotty kind of way. But like, I mean, I just feel like it works perfectly. And they have this super cute little clear heel also and I just love these. And they're really comfortable actually, so I like to try to style them as much as I can. But they're super cute and I'm obsessed with them. Next, I've got these tan croc knee-high boots. Um, you guys will see, I really love knee-high boots. These are from Pretty Little Thing and these are simple enough. I have moved and I was trying to like downsize on stuff and I had these white go-go boots that you guys will see that I love and I wear with everything. And they like had been destroyed because I wore them so much I just got rid of them. And then when I moved, they were sold out and I was like, I need a shoe like this. And I bought these boots thinking they were white and they're actually um, like a tannish color. Like it's like a like, no, it's tan. I want to say it's off-white, but it's it's really just tan. But they're so cute, and I mean, even though I did end up getting the white pair, um, again, I still able to style these with a lot. I like them a lot, so they're so cute and comfy. Just not exactly what I was looking for at the time that I bought them. Next, I've got these blue knee-high boots. These are from Public Desire, I believe, and I love these because they're kind of like slouchy and they don't have the same structure as a lot of my um, knee-high boots have, so you can kind of like push them down and wear them under jeans, which I tend to do. But yeah, I really like these a lot. I personally, I love Public Desire and you'll probably hear that name a lot when I'm talking about these shoes. But I love these because you can also do some crazy stuff with them like I did with the cow boots, or you can wear them with like monochromatic fits. Like they just look so good. So I really love these. But I especially love these under um, these denim jeans that I have that like tie at the ankle. It's just the outfits every time it's just chef kiss. So next I have these white, uh, I call them go-go boots, but these are the matte ones before I had the shiny ones, I can't remember what you call it, but before I had shiny ones and I feel like they just looked so like Halloween costumey. I thought it was cute, but at the same time I was like, um, they're just kind of giving me like costume store and not that there's anything wrong with buying clothes there, but uh, I just didn't like the look of them. So when I ended up replacing these after my move, I decided to go for the matte. So these are from Public Desire. They had the shiny ones, also Public Desire, but I decided to go with the matte ones this time and actually I'm very, very happy with them. And these are, again, very, very comfortable and that's why I wear them so much. So next I have these pink croc boots. These are actually not my size. I got them um, kind of like at a flea market and it was like BOGO on the shoes. So I just bought these because I didn't have pink shoes at the time. So they're really great for content and shooting, but I can't like actually practically wear them because they're like a size and a half too big. But either way, they're super cute and I think they're misguided maybe. I'm really not very sure. I don't know, but they don't they don't say. I love these, um, but unfortunately they are not practical enough to wear everywhere. I would honestly like to get a pair of these that fit because these are really, really cute. Next I got these black ones. These are also my pride and joy. I think they were a, a designer dupe, but I don't know. Um, but they're from Public Desire. They were supposed to come with these little like strings that tie on both sides, but I only got one string. Um, so I just don't wear mine. <laughs> but I still love these and style them with everything. They're the closest I can get right now to some vintage designer monogram boots that look like this. Like I would really love to get some Dior ones. Like really any, I just love the, the vintage like monogram boots that look like this. They might have shorter heels, but still. This is the closest I can get at the time and I love these so I style them with everything. They're like my favorite pair. Next, I've got these like, they're basically wedge knee high boots, but they've got these little fur cover on it. So these are from Fashion Nova. Um, they got like the little buckle lock. I don't know if they're meant to be a designer dupe or not. I have no idea. I've never seen this style before, but yeah. Um, just more of my one of, mm, like a winter issue, I guess. 
more like a winter style. I guess I could probably get away with it for now, but it's gonna get very hot here, so probably not for long. But I didn't get too much wear out of these, but I still really love them, and I just, I love styling them too. So next, I have these boots, and I love these boots so much. They are from Sparkle Fairy Couture, and I'm really actually happy I have them. I'm not sure how I do though. Basically, PayPal refunded me because I have been trying to get these shoes and Dolls Kill sold them, but they didn't have them when I discovered them. So I had been like stalking the website of the actual company um, to buy them there. And then they finally went in stock one day um, or I got a notification that they came in stock and like I ordered them and it was my birth month and I was so excited. I was like, oh, get them for myself for my birthday. They're in stock. I'll have them soon. Da -da -da. Um, so then the next day I got an email that they shipped and like a few more days went by and there was no update so I reached out and they were like oh it's pre-order and I was like well it didn't say that it was a pre-order and they were like oh okay well it ships in October. October came around and it was still nothing and they were like no it ships in November and I was like you know what please just give me my money back. So I got my money back and one day the shoes showed up at my door so I have the shoes now and I love them. They're not the most comfortable um, shoes in the world but they are really really cute but I can't promise the transaction will go smoothly so don't count this as me like recommending the business i'm more so recommending the shoes because they're really cute next i have my uggs um these are the platform mules i think is what they're called i'm not super sure but they're the kid size always buy kids uggs because why should i pay 10 more dollars 20 more dollars for the women's size when i can just get kids so i got these right before i went to japan and they were perfect i literally wore them every single day and i still wear these a lot um, they're just really really comfortable and lightweight and I had the Nemuels before the ones that tied and I loved them and wore the hell out of them same color so I decided to get these and I love them and wear them everywhere and style them with everything and they're perfect and I'm obsessed with them. Next I have these cowboy boots these are cow cowboy boots these are from Chewbacca the brand is Dingo and I don't wear these a ton but I just feel like it's important to own a pair of cowboy boots. Not necessarily cow print cowboy boots, but just cowboy boots in general. I just feel like you'll always at least once come to an occasion where the situation calls for cowboy boots or where it would be excusable to wear cowboy boots. So I just feel like everybody should have a pair. Next, these are from Dirty Laundry and they're just black and white Oxfords, honestly. I like Oxfords, but I already had a black pair. But I like to have multiple colors of shoes. I just feel like sometimes the look you style calls for it. So I got a white and black pair. Next, I have this little strappy sandal from Simi Shoes. And this one I got for my birthday a few years ago and I've just been using it for my birthday ever since because it's just so cute. Um, but yeah, it's just like all bedazzled and it's like a little rose gold square toe heel. And the heel is comfortable to me at least yeah i love these so much they're perfect for like any really any occasion where you want to like serve a cute little look oh my god wait are they messed up wait i can fix this i can fix this next one of my favorite pair of sneakers these are my hello kitty sneakers i don't think i need to say too much about them except for the fact that they are the cutest sneakers i own and i absolutely had to buy them when i saw them they are from bershka i don't know if bershka still sells these i got them um maybe about a year ago but i love these they're really really comfortable and they're pretty much like hello kitty air forces next i have these platform like chunky platform sandals from amazon i literally love these so much they're a little bit big but they're just so cute i just absolutely live for a chunky angle platform heel like it just has a look about it it's just giving main character icon and i'm obsessed with these okay I don't know if these are meant to be called Mary Janes or Oxford Heels or what they are, but they're by Dirty Laundry and it's it's literally what it is. It's like an Oxford heel. You know, the kind of ones like you were wear to church on Sunday when you were 10. Like <laughs> these shoes. I just feel like I have ways to style them and I've styled them before. Like I don't know, I just feel like it's something I need to have in my closet. I have a lot of aesthetics, so I just feel like I have to have a lot of different pieces and I don't have an explanation for you other than that sometimes I wear these. Next, probably the favorite shoes that I own, um, my Chanel trainers, mainly because I worked really hard to get these uh, a few years ago and I've had them for so long and I love them. So um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. These are my Chanel trainers and they're the cutest little dad sneakers that I own. Then I have these Puma platform sneakers. I think they're called the Cali sneakers, maybe, I'm not sure. 
I just like the colorway on them. I just think they're really cute and subtle. And I love a platform shoe in general, especially a sneaker. So I just got these and they're just comfortable to wear just generally when I'm just like going out to do like little things. Okay, this next pair are just some Dunks. The Green Glow, I think is the color. I once upon a time had a huge sneaker collection back when I was in college. And I don't know, I just don't wear sneakers as much anymore. I do wear these though. Um, I really love the color of them, so. And then the next pair that I have, these are my Vandy the Pink Rice Burger sneakers. I literally love the Vandy sneakers so much. I wish I had more. Okay, another pair of my sneakers that I'm very proud of, but I don't wear too often. Um, I have my Jordans here, so. I do see, I mean, no, they're, they're, they're crazy a little bit, but it doesn't matter to a person like me. I will hold on to them forever as long as they look pretty good. Next, oh my God, I went out of my way to locate these before I actually ended up buying them before they even dropped in the States because I was so pressed that I had to have them. But these are the One Piece Sketcher collab sneakers, the Law ones. I really love Law, so I absolutely had to get my hands on these, like, and I don't wear them a ton, but I have wore them to an amusement park or two, and they're very, 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 very comfortable. Like, I don't know why people hate on Skechers so much, because, like, they're very comfortable shoes. But, I mean, I only have this pair, and this is probably the only reason I even have them, but still, comfortable shoes if you need really comfortable shoes. These are my Pierre Hardy sneakers. I honestly am not gonna lie to you guys, I wasn't familiar at all with the brand. I only know them because my friend worked there and I was able to get these while they were on sale and with discounts. Um, and I guess they're limited edition because there's like a number in here, 40 out of 150, so very cool. Um, I don't wear these as much as I should for the price that I paid, but they're very cute shoes and I absolutely love the colorway. Next, I have these Air Forces. To be honest with you, I don't know what to even call the style of these. I don't remember where they're from or when I bought them, but I have them and I don't know, they're kind of cool with their little like holographic element um, here and they've got a nice little colorway as well, so. Next, I've got my Demonia boots. So this is the first pair I have. These are the Shaker. I'll put it in the video description. I think they're the 72s, but I, I honestly couldn't be sure. But I love, absolutely love these like platform chunky boots, very much stomp on you type shoes. I'm just obsessed with them. And it's just the ideal like platform shoe, like Demonia just gets it, you know what I mean? This is the other pair that I have from Demonia and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't even know the style name of these at all, like not even in the slightest, but I will put the information down for you guys. But another one that I like, um, I love the white of course, and I love of course that they're a different height and length, but overall, just obsessed. They're so easy to style and they're just so cute and they look so good and if you need some height, you have some really long pants or something, they're iconic and they're great and they're perfect. Next, I have my Naked Wolf Spice boots. Um, these of course are the like platform sock boots that everybody's been wearing for a while. I love these. I don't wear them as much as I did when I first got them. Um, honestly, they really are a hassle to get on and off, but they are so cute and they really do elevate like any look. They're very iconic. These next boots are just black stacked platform boots, um, like the chunky heel, just the typical like platform ankle booty um i don't remember where they're from exactly and the brand doesn't exactly tell me either but best guess is probably fashion over a doll's kill just because that's where I can, you can kind of get like the generic brand shoes from because i don't know lillian is that what that says these white ankle booties are from lamoda and honestly what got me on these was the heel i'm a sucker for a uniquely shaped heel um so yeah they're just they're just platform white i mean platform they're just angular heeled white ankle booties um and they're cute they have for a nice little pop of color to really any outfit i'm wearing and next i've got these black knee high boots also from lamoda same kind of thing going with the heel here i think the ankle boots from back there lose out to these a lot because it, it's just something about a knee high mid calf kind of boot that does it for me like I really like these. So um, again, I love LaModa. Um, I'm not crazy about their customer service, but I do like their shoes. They usually have very unique shoes um, for affordable prices and they're usually very cute. So I keep buying their shoes and I, I love these. I also have these pink um, platform sandals. Uh, just very cute and comfortable, honestly. I don't really like 
the the thong sandals i really just prefer sandals like this i just feel like they're easy to get on and off um and more comfortable so and i love platform things like i said so i love these and they're pink then i absolutely love these moves i've had these for so long these studded moves from lamoda i remember i was scouring the web trying to get them and i finally found them i think at the time they were sold out and i had to get them for some random website but i finally found them and they're so 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 comfortable and i wear them to so many things like birthday dinners graduation events like just so many things i literally love these and they look so cute when you style them because they're just so simple but like adorably cute so I do have some other ones, just like some flat sandals and like some sneakers that I just wear for errands, but because they're not really special shoes, I'm just gonna go to skip it and show you guys the last pair, which honestly they need to be clean, but they're iconic enough that I have to show them anyway. Um, this is from when B Rihanna did her Puma Fenty collection. I worked hard to get these shoes. And as you can see, I wore them a lot. They're really like, very dirty but they're just so i kind of like the septum zipper like the platform just everything about them is is iconic and once i figure out how to properly clean these i will be reviving these and wearing them so much because when i first got them i wore them so much i absolutely love these okay thank you guys so so much for watching all the information on the shoes will be down below in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video bye